As we get into spring, the water produced by snowmelt is part of the annual cycle, but there's a risk when it happens too fast. This is the science behind spring snowmelt. There are many factors that come into play when we're talking about melting snow. The air temperature, or the sun angle, which is much higher in the sky this time of year. Even the temperature of the snow and wind can play a role. But there is one trick to melting snow. Three days of at least 10 degrees Celsius will melt on average between five and 10 centimeters of snowfall. And it doesn't hurt when you have a sunny day like this either. If temperatures fall below freezing at night, the process will be slower. The amount of moisture in the air can also help accelerate the melting process. A heavy rain can be absorbed in snow banks and even wind will carry away the moisture and preserve that snowpack and make it way longer to see the grass underneath. When we think about snowmelt and the breakup of river ice, they often occur about the same time. Snow stores water all winter long until temperatures rise above freezing and it melts. But if the soil cannot absorb that water load, then runoff will head for nearby creeks, rivers and lakes and can overflow their banks. This happens nearly every spring along the Red River in Manitoba and the Grand River in Ontario. So a good idea this time of year is to remember to keep your storm drains cleared and open so we can avoid neighborhood flooding. And as a Canadian, it's best just to be patient while we wait for those snowbanks to finally melt away.